So here we are, it's 9-11. Uh, September 11th, 2018, we've got the West Fargo JV playing against the Shanley JV. And on the far right, the official is Bernard. Looks like he's an AR for this game. That'll probably mean he'll be a center for the varsity game. And I don't know the names of the other two referees, although the center referee I've seen before. And over here, I see Peter Noah invading the Shanley bench, where he is most welcome, but um, not letting seventh graders play on the boys' side this year. West Fargo team taking the field in white. So as we take a look at the Shanley group there, looks like son Gabe Noah is there at a, I don't know, looks like probably it's a 4-3-3 formation today. So he might be playing an outside right mid in a 4-3-3. Pretty stout defensive line there. And looks like uh, Cole is starting in goal. A lot of times, um, Mr. Anderson will play goal. We're off. Okay, got my attention now. Day. It's probably high 70s to 80 at game time. Ooh. That's what we're used to. I used to be Matt, now I'm so-and-so's dad. <laughs> That's what life is like as a parent. But at least I'm not so-and-so's dad. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Nice step by Ben. Love this guy. This is good. We're getting some uh, penetration here early. Nice pass, Gabe. Standing right in your way here. Well, Peter was warming up with the team. Now he's ball boy. With one of his friends.
the princess scooter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I saw it right. Right, hey, mommy? Yes. That's something you yeah, we got it last year, didn't we? At a garage sale? Yeah, and then you let it just buy it. Five minutes in. Zero zero. It's a nice night. No, I didn't know how many more nice nights there were going to be. So. Thursday they're in Grand Forks. Next week both games are in town. Well, Lisa's thinking of taking her to the cities this weekend. A funeral for uh, one of my cousins, or second cousin, I'm not sure. Well, I know the names. It's a Corbid and um, so that would be her, my mom's sister's um, son, I'm guessing. He's in his, he was in his mid-50s. I don't know. I'd have to go take a look, but I think, oh, it was leukemia. I don't know. Okay, here's Gabe with the corner kick. Let's see if he can place it well. Kind of low. No! Come on, Stay boys. high. Oh, nice try. As Bob Euchre would say, just a little high. Gabe has a corner kick from this side. Oh, 
So how many times did you go to uh, Davies, JV, and Varsity games? <laughs> I noticed you kind of were off to the side of the middle part, you know, between the Davies and... Uh... <laughs> but some of the Davies folks found you out, huh? I was going to ask you that too. Yeah. What are you doing here? Well, it's almost halfway through the season. What is his feedback so far? He's liking the coaching thing or not liking it? Okay. I think he wishes he had. Would have had more time to prepare. You know? Yeah. You know, because he's never coached out before. You know, goalie coaching and that thing. So. That's right, he kind of got asked about within the last week before the season started, right? Yeah, I still don't understand how that all came about, that it was kind of left at the last minute, or did... All the assistant coaches just not. Somebody. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't remember who it was. Yeah, they did have something. Yeah. Let's go, Red! Let's go, Red! Alright, here we go. Red! Well, I'm sure he's not doing it for the money. <laughs> no, nor does he coach baseball for the money. <laughs> He is now learning what the phrase giving back to the game means. <laughs> of course, I know in the Twin Cities there are some guys who do make a living off of coaching youth soccer. Oh, yeah. Well, at the bigger clubs, there's just. I mean, we think of. All the consolidation that's gone on, you take a look at Thunder Academy and Fusion and now Salvo, and it's like some of those clubs have 200 competitive teams. I mean, yeah. Go Red! And I remember even six, seven years ago going down to Kansas City and playing in a fall tournament. We were playing um, some Kansas City based team. And it was the U15 or U16 Barosha Dortmund boys. And I said, so how many uh, U16 teams are there in your club? And which one are you? And they said, there's 16 U16 boys. They just named everyone after a club in the German league. So there'd be Bayern and Dort Dortmund and just crazy. All right. That was close. He had some good speed going into the zone. Well, I should know by number who that was. Is that Kevin Gladish, number four? Running down there, I think it was number three. Three? Oh, that was, oh, Braden. It was Braden? I think it was Braden. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, he's bigger than Kate. No. Are you sure? No. You're not sure? Good job, Gabe. Good job. Way to get it out. Here we go. Here we go. Free kick. Really? <laughs> 